the thing uh, about being a cabin crew is you have to be a diligent and a hard-working person being a cabin crew is not about traveling around the world and going on vacation or it's work and it's a whole lot of work the number one disadvantage of the cabin crew job is you stand for very long hours yes um, you stand you are standing when the passengers when they call in for boarding when the pa when the passengers are boarding you are standing and making sure that their bags are correctly stowed and they are seated with their seat belts on you know you 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 try to make sure that the cabin is secured for takeoff and all that it, most of the times you calculate the number of hours that you use in standing it might not be added to your block time so one disadvantage is you stand for very long hours and so many crew complain about that and i want you to know that this is part of being a cabin crew job because most times people look at the cabin crew job from um, the cabin crew uniform that you see on Pinterest, on Pinterest and Instagram. It's not a fashion and lifestyle. It's a job and it requires a level of commitment to work. Another disadvantage is you are not always going to be around. The 9 to 5 work, you go to work in the morning, you're back in the evening, you sleep on your bed, but it's not like that with the cabin crew job. The cabin crew job, you travel the world at no cost to you. And most times you lodge in five-star hotels. And you eat, if you're not careful, you, <laughs> you might even lose track <laughs> of dates, anniversaries, birthdays, you know. You might lose track of it. So one thing about another disadvantage is you're not always around most times you spend your time in five-star hotels okay so know that about the cabin crew job another thing about the cabin crew job is that you can lose track of certain things in life let me explain you earn a very good salary you're traveling the world at no cost to you you pay your bills and if you're working in the airlines in the Middle East the only thing you have to pay for is your internet you go for shopping you are living the dream life but one thing is that you might never add value to yourself and most of the time when it dawns on you is maybe if you're given suspension if you lose your job or let's say this COVID-19, where a lot of people were, where a lot of people were laid off and made redundant or sacked from their place of work, you start to ask yourself that I spent 10 years in a company and what did I do for myself? You years can pass and the only thing that you have done is serving the company. You have not done anything to serve yourself. So be very careful because you can go, you can become blind to so many things because you are getting, you're financially stable, you're living the dream life, you're able to afford anything you want, but you have forgotten the very important thing. You, are, you have not done anything to add value to yourself. Now how do you add value to yourself? You add value to yourself by, number one, going back to school. You don't have to be in school physically. You can enroll into an online course. You can learn a new skill. Whenever you go on leave, you can use, instead of using your leave to just travel to another country and go on another vacation, use your leave to learn something aside the, from what you do every single day. You can learn a new language. You can just do something different that would add value to you in future. Some people believe that being a cabin crew will make you never have a family. That is a lie and that is 
if you notice it's not a disadvantage i never listed it as a disadvantage because i do not see it as a disadvantage because it's all about priorities in life i am married and i've been married for 12 years and i have two grown-up children i got married a year after i became a cabin crew and that was in two th i got i got my i became a cabin crew in 2007 i got married in 2008 and i'm still married to my husband my husband has never never had anything against my career i married my best friend and it's something i always tell um ladies marry someone who understands the job i'm not talking about someone who knows about the job because there are two different things marry someone who understands the job i'm not always around but i don't always have to be around for things to work out in my relationship my husband and I have a great understanding. I have a wonderful backup system when it comes to my kids. When I started international flights, my first child was three months old. Yes, it was when I started international flights and people wonder how was I able to do it. You can. It's all about the kind of man you're married to, the backup system that you have, you know. So I know you've gained something in my channel today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. As usual, my name is Iyetunde Adeyemi. And let me introduce myself. If it's the first time you are watching me on my channel, I have five years experience as a commercial cabin crew. I am currently a VIP cabin crew. So stay blessed.